Get it off of me. Hearing your neighbors have sex is awkward. Cheer them on. Be like, woo! Oh, I know. This is the finale of Song of Horror, episode five out of five. We are going to learn uh, what the what the origin of the song is tonight. The origin of the of the music box. That's basically been the entire story. If you guys are being confused about the uh, story of Song of Horror, it's about people that work for a publishing company that published for a horror novelist. And it turns out uh, he was trying to find inspiration for his new novel, so he got this this cursed music box that whoever hears the music they 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 are cursed and they're to die and uh one of the people like that the, the, they were publishing like i said he had the music box so they're trying to find him and then one of the people that were trying to find him that worked for the publishing company heard the song themselves so they're cursed and they're and then they find out that the author that they were looking for he died too so they're trying to uncover and get to the root of the curse so they can break the curse to save their friend. I know it's not something you stream regularly, but I love that you gave it a chance and it's been... I like this game a lot. I really like the puzzles, the exploration. I like the um, like the way the game looks. I like the fix and panning cameras. It feels very old school. It feels like a, it feels like the modern twist on an old school horror like point and click game. That's what I really like about it. It's really cool. You guys ready to play the games? All right, here we go, episode five. Usher died in there, trapped. He probably struggled and screamed until he went mad trying to find a way out of that godforsaken place. Like me, only in his case, nobody got there in time. I imagine he thought that there was a quicker way to go. The same way that Father chose. And maybe I would have done the same in his place. What I saw myself do in that mirror was just too much. Is this what lies ahead? Maybe I already know it, but I'm trying to hide it from myself. Maybe deep down, I know it's a hideous omen of what the future has in store for me. Maybe I know that like everyone who's come across that cursed box, I too will take my own life. That I would rather surrender to death than face whatever it is that lingers behind that infernal melody. I should burn the thing, make that melody vanish from the face of the earth. But what about Ariadne? She's alive. What if only the box can stop this? I can't destroy it without knowing for sure. Maybe there's something in Legrand's diary. Oh God, I need to rest and gather my thoughts. I need to sleep. I can only hope the nightmares won't be as horrible as real life. What's up, Void? How you doing? Uh oh. What? something there must be something here it's all over just a moment ago I like every night the song was invading my dreams grating incessantly I woke up soaked in sweat and veiled by the shadows Natalie was sleeping but I was not this time it had to stop I was hell-bent on destroying the source of that awful song. 
I went down to the basement and tore down the same wall I built myself. With each blow, I cursed the moment I decided to bring that melody into my home. I couldn't take it any longer. There she was, behind the wall. My wife, huddled in a corner, holding Elaine in her arms. I froze. If Natalie was there, what kind of diabolical creature was sleeping by my side? I'm so confused. Monsters. All of them. My beloved Elaine, Natalie. The monsters had locked them away and wanted to take Ariadne. They wanted to take my baby. I grasped the mallet, determined to do whatever it took. I would not allow those fiends to take my daughter. Not without a fight. They would rue the day they tried to harm my family. I would kill the monsters and the black figure and find my little girl. I followed them throughout the house. Every room was shrouded in darkness. There was something unnatural in the air. The melody had transformed into a choir of black curling howls. But I finally cornered them in the bedroom, where I finished them off. I drew blood, and it flowed like a well from the grotesque black figures while they screamed and writhed, the vile, deceitful fiends. And then, I went back to the basement. Oh, don't tell me. There was nobody there. Oh my that god. Disappeared. No. Dude, he killed him. This <laughs> true. That is so fucked up. They had never been down there. They were upstairs in the bedroom where I had left them. There were no monsters in the house. Except me. Only me. Only me. And the presence. Okay. Uh, Bertrand. Um, Lydia. Or... Sophie. I don't think we've done Lydia yet. Alright, let's go. Lydia it is. Okay. There's something on the table. There's something on the table. It sure is. Here we go. Oh, it's like a puzzle. Shit. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. What does it say? I can't even read that. It says from highest to lowest, the something are in the photo. The seven, what are in the photo? The seven members are in the photo. I think this one for sure is the top left corner. That makes the most sense. That's not right. See, I'm not sure if I had a if I gotta line up the top first. Cause if I'm lining up the top, I'm just trying to put together what I see. And that kinda goes together right there. Like like that kinda goes together, like slightly. But then the, like that there, there's like a whole shoulder missing. Now what's next?
This one has to be it. Right? right? This has to be right. It's the bottom corner. And that has to be right there. That doesn't feel like it lines up though. Does that even look right? <laughs> this is all fucked. This puzzle is tough. Okay, like that? I still feel like this is like totally off. Wow. All right. That was it? What did we get out of that? I don't, how long were we messing with that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, check the back, of course. Huh? Is it like some kind of thing? Oh. Yes. There we go. Yes. Yes. He's a bitch. I have the power. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so there's there's little symbols on the note too that says a guy standing up black shirt white shirt mustache glasses guy sitting down so is it four guys standing up one guy in a black shirt six guys in white two guys with mustaches actually three guys with mustaches Two guys with glasses and three guys sitting down. Is that it? Is that right? No. <laughs> right path, long numbers. Okay, yeah, I get it. So the highest obviously is six. So six. And then what's the next? Guy standing. Four. Right? Then. Guy sitting. Three. Six, four, three, three. That's four. How many guys with mustaches? I think there's only three guys with mustaches. Or there's four guys with mustaches. Does that guy on the bottom right have a mustache? Okay, so. What's the last one? There's only two men with, with glasses on. Six, four, three, three, two, one. What's the seventh one? The middle guy has glasses. Am I blind? Does he? Okay. So what's the seventh number then? Hey, I did it. I see some notes there. Let's 
Let's have a look. Ah, Dr. Baroness Prestigard. It's a good start. I like how they're just sitting open, the ones she's looking for. Today's session with Ariadne was by far the most productive to date. Yeah, I figured that out for Mel. The conversation we had, for her mind continues to adhere to the usual extravagant patterns. But because today she asked to get her things back, which led me to a surprising discovery. Down in the storage room, I was convinced I would not find any of the belongings taken from her when she was admitted. But there was nothing further from the truth. There was a diary and a music box. After handing the box to Ariadne, I quickly browsed through the diary, which apparently belonged to her father. And that's where it gets interesting. After years of researching paranormal phenomena, Argus Legrand's investigation led him to the Abbey of St. Cecilia, where a cursed concert had supposedly taken place. After spending a considerable amount of money, he got his hands on the only remaining sheet music from the concert and convinced an acclaimed musician to play the music one more time. The new cursed concert would take place on a steamer that would sail down the Rhine a few weeks later, and both Legrand and his assistants would be there to contemplate the true effects of the song. After the concert, the tycoon wrote the following in his diary. Those ignorant, illiterate fools. I can only laugh at their curse and their stupidity. The only misfortune that damn song has brought is a hole in my bank account. Alas, at least I take the melody with me. I will have it recorded and play it each day for my family. Ha! Those drunk, lazy bastards. Their misfortune was caused by their own stupidity and bad blood. Wanting to put the blame on a song is yet another sample of their total lack of culture. Argos Legrand never knew that the steamer suffered a strange accident, just hours after he got off, that killed everyone on board. And yet his thoughts on the melody eventually changed. They did indeed change. Believe it. Daniel wasn't exaggerating. This is much worse than I ever imagined. Who's the dumb bastard now? What's this? This hole connects to the two rooms. It does it looks like someone covered it on the other side. Why is there a piano in every level? Oh crap, what's this? There's no information. Okay, I'm gonna wait until I get the information for it. I don't even know where I am right now. I'm a little confused, to be honest. So can I just say hearing your neighbors have sex is awkward? Cheer them on. Be like, woo! Yeah, get it! Yeah! Like, yeah, gouge that shit out, yeah! What you do is you start watching porn really loud. Like, louder than they are. And like make it some like weird ass porn. Like imagine if you're getting it on all of a sudden you hear like somebody going, uh, uh, in the other room and like, it sounds like it's obviously some porn. And all of a sudden you hear like a horse, like, nee! like, okay, what's going on? Okay, I'm completely out of the mood now. Is this where I came from? Not that way. No, we can't do that one. Well, how many channels do you follow, Dan? What the? F okay, definitely not going in there. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so I got the light on. So I can actually see the thing right now. It says, if it doesn't like the light, it doesn't like the light, but it likes the song. Oh my god, this is like... Maybe it's just the lit ones? Oof, this is gonna be tough. It doesn't like the light, but it likes the song. So maybe I'll play the dark ones?
got a piano key. I got a key. You know what I realized? Does anybody else notice that like you find okay. In Fallout 4, has anybody else else realized that you find dog meat at the red rocket? And has anybody else realized that Fallout 4 sucks? Yeah. Apparently not Crimson Zion. He loves that game. Oh. I wouldn't say that it sucks necessarily. It's just not good. All I have is this key. It's too small to open a regular door, so it doesn't go to a door. It goes to something. So I'm looking for some kind of object to unlock this. To unlock with this. Huh. Here? Here we go, nice. Huh. I wonder if this projector still works. We'll soon find out. It's gonna be porn watch. Ye old porn. Turn off the light. It doesn't like the light. Sleep like me in my bed. Ew. She's a creepy little child, isn't she? Sleep with me in my bed. Naked. You want me to sleep with you? It, it, it's normal not to want to sleep alone. Sometimes I get scared at night. Not here. At home, daddy, mommy, and I like sleep there when they understand. Oh, who's this gentleman? Is it your daddy? No, it's Mr. Neuer. So she saw the future? What? Holy fuck. Oh. Well. Oh no. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I always fall for these dumbest traps. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's turn the power to the Morgon. And then I'm going to go take a pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> 